up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon White version. Now, in the last episode, uh, we just defeated the Striton City Gyms. So very cool. First gym of the game. And immediately when you walk out, you're going to run into Fennel, who's actually a friend of Professor Juniper's, and uh, tells us that she went to college with Juniper. So, wonder if there's any interesting stories. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to receive our first HM, which is very nice. HM meaning hidden machine, and that's cut. So we're going to be able to get through all those little tree thingies and, uh, yeah, see more of the game. So very nice. Also, guys, just want to make a quick little correction. Previously, I'd said that uh, save your TMs for when you need them. I completely forgot it in black and white, a new addition to the game, you can use your TMs now an infinite number of times on as many pokes as you want, so feel free to spam away with them, use them as you get them, where you like them, and uh, yeah, I am sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we are assigned now, as always, to do someone else's job. Go to the Dream Yard, so we're going to go back here, be able to cut through that little area and get into the depths of the Dream Yard. Here we're going to see, for the first time, finally a new Pokemon. Now, uh, we could have seen Audino, which is another Pokemon similar to this one, at least in the characteristic that uh, this new Pokemon that we're about to see, Muna and Audino, both give you HP EVs, the uh, first two pokes in the game that we've seen that do this. So keep that in mind if you're trying to EV train for HP. These are two excellent pokes to do that with. Also, Muna is a pretty decent Pokemon as kind of a bulky uh, special attacker. So keep that in mind also if you're looking for someone like that to fill in on your team. Anyway, we have Team Plasma. And why are you kicking a Pokemon, you asshole? Freaking soulish gingers, I swear to God, do not kick a Pokemon. So, we're going to have to fight, that's what it comes down to. Two very simple fights right here, first against a Patrat, so get our attack EV, and flame charge our ass, got lit up. Yeah, what's up now? Bacon just pwned your ass, freaking new. I really don't have very high standards for recruiting uh, Team Plasma people. But now we're going to go up against a Purloin. So there's our Speed EV. And once again, it's going to light your pussy up. What's up? Yeah, take that. To the face. Boom. So anyway, what they're thinking is they're going to use this Dream Mist that uh, Muna has. And be able to use that to manipulate the people in Pokemon to try and get them to release them. It, always some scheme about getting people's Pokemon. When are you going to learn? It didn't work with Team Rocket. It's not going to work with you. So here we have Geitzis. And what are you doing here? Don't you have better things to do than being in this back alley thing? But it ends up being Musharna, which is the evolved form of Muna. Uh, I believe that's through a Moonstone, which you actually can get fairly early in the game. So uh, very cool. And Musharna, Muna, very nice to see you guys looking after each other. And here, what did they drop? What did they drop? Oh my god, is that the Dream Mist? Really, purely a uh, storyline item, I guess you could say. I guess that's their best way of representing the Dream Mist being dropped in a Pokeball. But whatever. Okay, so now let's talk about Muna's abilities and uh, what's really important about them. Um, first off, the two abilities are either synchronized or forewarned. Forewarned, garbage ability, you're going to want to find one that is synchronized. Um, forewarned, it's got a lot of issues. It's The idea is to tell you what is the most damaging move from the other poke, but it doesn't take into consideration uh, typing and stuff like that, so it's just, it's not very helpful. However, Synchronize, being that this poke is, first off, in battle, um, is a fairly bulky poke, can be used very well as a wall, calm minder, so forth. Special attacking side is where I recommend. Um, basically, if you do a status to it, such as Paralyze, Toxic, Burn, it's going to then mirror it back to the Pokemon that does that. Now, Synchronize also has a 
very useful uh, secondary ability out of battle. Now how this works is if you are leading in your party with that poke that is synchronized on any wild encounters, the Pokemon that you encounter has a 50% chance that it will have the same nature as the Pokemon with synchronized leading in your party. Now, this can cut down on a lot of time for hunting for wild Pokemon to get that nature you want, but even more importantly, when you're facing legendaries that you only get one chance at in the game, it gives you a 50% chance to be able to manipulate what the nature will be, so you don't have to keep on resetting a million times. Um, so it, it's just, it's invaluable, that ability. So you're going to want to try and catch a synchronized poke for all the natures that you will want and s just purely use those to manipulate what things you run into. Now, I'm not going to go through all of that uh, in this, but when it comes to, in particular, the legends, you will see me do this. And Muna is one of two Pokemon in the entire black and white game in-game, you know, of the new region, you know, uh, Unova region pokes that has synchronize. Okay, so just keep that in mind. We'll come back to that more and talk about it later, but very, very important ability for manipulation of the game. So anyway, here we get our uh, pal pad and what is it, the C gear. Very cool new thing with the game. I'm not going to talk much about it now because we're not going to use it. But the pal pad is important because this is what determines that now we can trade online with other people. So again, I'm not going to really do much trading yet, but uh, it will happen later in the game. Um, I have decided I will do the Victini event as we come up to that. It's probably going to be within the next two to three episodes. Um, I'm not going to spam Victini. I may use it in my party for a little bit, but I really haven't decided my exact team yet now here we come on one of our i think it is this our first doubles battle that we've done so far i'm not sure i think it might be but anyway two youngins and they both have purloin seems like the females always like to use these uh purloin pokemon maybe it's because they share something that starts with the letter p could it be Per Anyway, uh, very simple again, battle. Uh, just going to take him out. I missed with my Fury Swipes on the right Purloin. So I'm going to do those Growls, but it doesn't matter. I'm at such a high level. Uh, just going to again go for my Flame Charge and then follow up with a Fury Swipe. So shouldn't be any issue. And again, I'm really liking that move. There is one other Fire move that I will be learning um, in the future. But, uh, again, we'll talk about that when we get to it. And I've been debating whether I want to switch to it, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, this area is where the daycare center is for Pokemon. So, uh, it's really, it's the breeding area. It's nice that they have it so early in the game, although I'm not really at the point yet where I have anything that I necessarily want to breed. Um, in an episode very soon, I will cover the basics of breeding, just to sort of get you started on it. Because uh, I'm sure many of you are further in the game than this Let's Play actually is. But uh, we'll come back to it in quite detail, uh, absolutely, at some point during this Let's Play. Anyway, have our Muna. And the guys, again, remember, Muna and Audino are two of the earliest Pokemons that you're able to get that HP uh, EV stats raised on. So, very helpful. Um, again, I've only been mainly focusing on attack and speed since that is what's been of abundance thus far. And again, I'm really liking that because in the past have been kind of harder stats in other games, especially the attack to find just those really uh, concentrated areas for attack. Anyway, what is with preschoolers having their own Pokemon? I thought you had to be of a certain age before you could have your own Pokemon? Or are these just midgets pretending to be kids? I don't know. Pokemon, the, the makers of this are so funny. They go into such great detail and depth in some areas, yet they're just let the storyline lack in other areas. So... Who knows, but uh, let's get these trainer battles done, Preschooler Dale. Hey, are you related to uh, Chip and Dale, just like my uh, Patrat is? So we have our Panpour here, and um, 
We're going to also be getting to an area where I believe is the Pinwheel Forest, or I think is one of the other areas you can catch these elemental monkeys. But I'm going to be ditching my ganja fairly soon um, as we come up to one of the game exclusives. Um, a very nice grass Pokemon, and um, I'm going to make sure that all the game exclusive Pokemon to try and emphasize and use in my party for at least a good part of the game, just to really make sure you guys know them. Um, as far as virgin, virgin differences, black and white, um, a lot of people have been asking what's better. I'm going to say white, because after looking through what Pokemon um, you can get, I really think that white, I, I like the Pokemon in white better. Um, especially for, uh, the legendary genie guy. But anyway, we are going to be finally evolving! And is it going to be cute? Pig Knight! The egg with arms and legs! My god, you are really living up to your name as a pig. Look like a wrestler or something. Andre the Giant? Maybe I should have named you that. But anyway, um, I'm going to learn Arm Thrust, another one of those multi-hit moves, and is Stab this time, which will give me the same type attack boosts, and it will be helpful against those Pokemon who have the ability Sturdy that cannot be one-hit KO'd. So anyway, you can heal up right here, talking to these people just to make sure there isn't some item that I could be getting, but it doesn't look like they have anything for me. So we're going to just peruse around, we're going to take a quick look in the daycare care center next door, and uh, for hatching eggs and having the eggs laid, it's all determined by the steps that you take in the game, it's not time, it's the number of steps you take. So again, we'll cover that more later. And also, Pokemon that breed, they don't have to be the exact same Pokemon, they have different egg groups and uh, as long as they're within the same egg group they can breed a male and a female um, there's also ways to breed Pokemon that do not have a gender but we'll get into that more later because I have a date with my friend Charan and I should have switched into my um, Pan Sage just because he's always going to be leading off uh, with his Oshawa, at least thus far in the game. So it would be a good idea to switch into your Elemental Monkey prior to walking over to this area. But I'm just going to switch into Ganja now. Goes for that Focus Energy, which is going to make it so that he is more likely to crit. But not an issue because he has no moves good against me. I'm really despising Teren for using that Ornberry. Getting that extra boost and turning these what would be two hit KOs into three hit KOs. But no matter, able to take you out. And uh, yeah, again, it's nice to have this Ganja up at level 16 so far. He's going to bring in his Purloin next, and I decide I want to go into Bacon. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. I really wanted to show off this uh, new move one, as you can see right there. And uh, just take a look at what the Pig Knight looks like in battle. Very cool. And you do look like a wrestler. <laughs> so what's going on here? Oh my god! It's this freaking gingers! What happened? Oh, Bianca, they stole your friend's Pokemon? Oh my goodness. We're gonna get stuck helping out. Alright, no worries, little girl. Don't cry. Okay. Alright. All right, all right. So, while they stay back, I'm going to go follow Tren, and I'm going to get this little girl's, and her name is actually Little Girl, uh, get her Pokemon for her. So just get a quick item, and Patrat. Um, I'll talk about in the next episode the new Pokemon you can see in this route. There is uh, it's a couple, but there's one in particular that uh, can be useful to use on your team. But we'll get back to that, and let's go. Now, I'm deciding that my HP is good enough. I'm not going to have to heal up, because, again, Team Plasma, they're just freaking pussies. They're too easy, and I have Pig Knight now, so I rule. So here we go, Team Plasma, blasting off at the speed of light. And look at you, you are so unique with your Pokemon choices. Another Patrat, my god, I've seen enough of this guy. Gonna arm thrust him and Hwah! you're out of here. So you're gonna have your one single battle, then we're gonna have a 
doubles battle with Terren helping me, so kind of interesting. And let's go on second wave, you freaking gingers. You are never, ever gonna learn. I swear to God. Let's go, Terren. So, Team Pussy, I mean Plasma. And let's go, Grunts. What are you gonna have? Two more Patrats. Come on now, I'm so sick of this goddamn Pokemon. If it wasn't for the attack EVs that I'd be getting, I would just be infuriated. Go for my quick flame charge, and I just love the animation for that move. Very cool. And uh, the Patrats now at this level do have the move Detect, which is quite annoying. It works just like Protect, and uh, it's just completely stalling me for no reason whatsoever. But yeah. Let's go and let's take this out. And thanks for holding up your end of the battle terrain. Always so helpful. Yeah, right. If you can't tell my sarcasm. So let's get our new Pokemon. Let's get our Pokemon back for the little girl. And um, again, in this area, in the next episode, I will show you and go over what Pokemon that are good and useful on this new route. And uh, we'll be heading in to the next city and maybe even take on the gym. So a lot to look forward to. And uh, just another little topic I wanted to cover. There's a lot of really good fire type Pokemon in this game. Especially the fact that I'm going to be getting Victini. So while I'm very happy I did lead with the starter um, to Pig and now Pig Knight. Um, it is going to put me in the spot where I'm going to have to decide which guys I want to actually keep in my team. Um, again, I haven't decided what my actual team's going to be throughout the game, and I am going to try and rotate it, depending on the circumstances, uh, what will work best. But uh, I'm also going to let you guys help decide what I use and vote on it and such. But uh, as we get to those areas, we, uh, we will have the votes. So anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. I'll see you soon. And comment, like, subscribe as always. Peace out.